Hi Natalie. So, iPad time. I thought this is the easiest way to do it. Now, when you're taking your video, it goes to your photo album. In, in the photo album, there's a videos, things, and then you click on your video. And then this is the most, e if it's, the video is only five, six, less than ten minutes, this is the easiest way to upload your video. You click it up there, and you'll, I'll just go back to the video there. I'll just cancel that. There's the video again. I'll go back to the albums. There's my three videos. I'm going back to there, and then I'll even go back to the main screen. So there, I clicked on that, went to my videos, clicked the video, and then just down here, one side's garbage bin, the other side's a little uh, uh, little arrow with a thing. And then here is the YouTube. Here is where you enter the account details. Username, password, and then once you've done that, you click unlisted, and you can put educational there. You can tap there and it's got the different categories and you can choose education. So now I'm gonna get out of that. I'm gonna to go to the iMovie because I'm assuming that your videos are longer than, because if it's a half hour, 45 minute lesson, they're very long videos. So what you need to do is edit them down. And then you've gotta to go to iMovie, you click plus. Right in the corner there, there was a little corner, a plus there. Now I'm on this screen and you click that, uh, that little iMovie strip and then you create, click create movie. Now you're in the iMovie edit page, then you click the video, all the videos that you've taken will appear on that little section. You click the uh, video that you want and then you click this in, and it downloads into the edit bar. And then you can click this arrow to go right back to the beginning of the video. There it is, back to the beginning of the video and I can pull it along like that. Now I might go in here and I'll tap the video and then I get a little uh, menu of names here. I'm gonna tap split and then this part of the video, I'm gonna tap that. I don't need that because that was just setting up the classroom and so I'll delete that. And I go through my video and I delete the pieces and as I'm going, I keep go back to the beginning of each section and I'll tap in and I'll say, this is, uh, this is the warm-up activity. We're focusing on rhythm or pitch or, and I might, if the teacher's teaching the lesson, I might say really, really excellent singing. Um, make sure that, um, you know, if it's uh, a single, you know, single tone or set up the rhythm of the song by singing in the rhythm of the song, I might give some teaching points and go through the lesson like that. I reduce about half an hour's worth of teaching time down to about five minutes, that's right. So once we've done that, so they're the two things I do. I split the video and uh, I also add titles. Once I've finished, I click up here and back onto it and I go back to this screen. Now once I'm on this screen, it might be backwards, I can't remember, um, then I, I click here and I choose a title for the video. I might type that and there's a title for the video, done. Right, now I'm going to upload it, and it's back to that little box with the arrow. I tap that, goes there, and then uh, there's my YouTube, and it's exactly the same process. Once you've entered the username and password, you don't need to do it again. Uh, and you can click unlisted again. There's unlisted underneath public, because you don't want it to be public. Now, once you've done that, you click publish and it takes about 15 minutes to upload five minutes worth of video however that's dependent on your how fast your video uh, your internet is now i'm going to go back to the home screen um i'm going to i've uploaded the video and now i'm going to go back into here i'm going to choose i'm going to select one of the videos that one and i'm going to delete it and i delete it from there but you don't. Uh, you have to delete it from there, but you also have to delete it from. Once you've deleted it from there, cancel. Uh, you go back to here, and it has recently deleted. And you'll need to click on that. There's nothing here in my screen, but then you'll have to delete it again, and that clears it out. So you free up the space for your iPad. Now, if there's any other questions, any other things I can help with, um, just let me know. Email me. Bye.